The topics of free speech and censorship are at the top of minds of hundreds of millions of people around the world right now. Every time you go on the internet, you see somebody getting censored, deplatformed. Are you allowed to say something? Are you not? Can you talk about vaccines? Can you talk about masks? Can you talk about inflation? What is going on on the internet? Now, of course, Every single platform, they have a different perspective on this. Some of them have their own rules. Some of them simply say, we're going to follow the laws. And others try to put together these external boards of fact checkers and information specialists. They're going to determine what's right and okay to say and what's not. Well, where does YouTube stand on all of this? Well, we just got some new information. The YouTube CEO had this to say about online speech, censorship, and what they want to see happen in the world. Our, our recommendation if governments want to have more control over online speech is to to pass laws to have that be very cleanly and clearly defined such that we can implement it. There are times that we see the laws being implemented or, or being suggested that they um, they're, they're not necessarily clean or possible for us to cleanly interpret them. Um, and we've also seen sometimes there's laws passed just for the internet as opposed to for all speech. Um, and I, I do think that's a dangerous area when we start to get in and say, oh sure, you could say something like this in a magazine or on TV, but you can't say it on the internet. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what's interesting about her perspective. One, I agree. We shouldn't have different rules for the internet versus television, magazines, or in private conversation. If you're allowed to say something, you should be allowed to say it in every venue, not just in a magazine or on television. Now, of course, there's a big slippery slope here, though. If all of a sudden the government is coming in and telling you what you can say and can't say, it's a lot of questions. Why are they drawing the line in a certain place? Why is it that you can't say certain things? Is it simply to further their agenda? Or are they actually trying to create some sort of positive impact on society? I personally don't want the government to have more and more reach over what we say on the internet. I don't think that we should allow for the interpretation of those rules by random employees at technology companies that have the power to change algorithms, news feeds, to deplatform folks or to prevent you from saying something. The true test of free speech is actually protecting the speech of the people you disagree with. But what we've seen time and time again is that these platforms and governments, they simply want to silence their critics. They want to silence the people that they don't agree with. The problem in the world is that we don't know what truth is at all times. There used to be things that we thought were wrong that now we all believe. And so if you don't allow for speech, you don't make progress in a society. Ultimately, we should encourage the competition of all ideas and almost all speech. Yes, there are things that should be looked at, whether it's hate speech, it's the encouragement of violence or other things that I think most people in a society agree on. But the second that you get into trying to determine misinformation or truth, I don't want my government to be the arbiter of truth. And I don't want my social media platforms to be the arbiter of truth either. Ultimately, what we have to do is return to common sense. But as we know, common sense isn't so common anymore. To hear the YouTube CEO talk about this so openly, to encourage a government to get more reach, to get more control of online conversation, scares the hell out of me. I want to go the other direction. I want our government to get the hell out of the way. I want our government to stop worrying about what we're saying on the internet. As long as we're not causing harm to other people, as long as we're not inciting violence, as long as we're not committing hate speech, everyone relax. Humans for thousands of years have figured out how to communicate with each other. They figured out how to organize with each other. And they figured out how to improve the world. We now live in the safest, most prosperous time in human history. Trust the people. We'll figure it out. We don't need the government or the social media corporations telling us what we can say, when we can say it, or who we can talk to.